So I did a lot of research for preparing for Jesus Revolution. Not only did I look at the Time Magazine article, uh, I looked at YouTube footage of Lonnie Frisbee and Catherine Kuhlman and Chuck Smith and the early days of Greg Laurie. I also looked at what was going on in the civil rights movement at the time, what was going on in New York at the time. I really wanted to understand much more about the culture, uh, the points of view of different people, the personalities, so that as I got into this character and got into this part, I was really trying to bring all of that history with me. Created a bio for my own character to really get into the history of his family and why he came out to California and why he needs this story to kind of save his own career and redeem himself. In my own life, faith has been meaningful to me because I'd be nowhere without it. Uh, you know, without my relationship with Christ, without my my faith, I, I'd be nowhere. So it has been the superpower. I know in Hollywood, everybody wants to have a superhero movie and all, all you know, all the things that come with that. But faith is the real superpower. My entire life, my entire career has been a faith walk and a faith journey. And uh, I'm excited and grateful to be able to say that. I think when I look at the world in our current time, the world needs this movie right now because this movie can actually start the revolution again. We are living in a time that's divided, uh, that is contentious, that is um, anxious, you know? And I do think a film like this reminds us it's only about Jesus. That's it. And when we put the love of God and the love of Christ first, and last, what happens? Everybody comes together. All are welcome because God is love. And my hope is that this movie reminds people of that and that people will say, you know what? We got to get back to love. For me, working on this project, it already has changed me because of my day job. Uh, I'm a producer. So being in front of the camera and acting and getting a chance to play a character and bring that character to life, it's already changed me. I gain a whole appreciation for how difficult this is, you know, to prepare the character, to learn the lines, to be present, to be authentic, to be natural, to take direction and to have faith. I think audiences can look forward to one of the greatest trips, <laughs> you know, in cinematic history. Uh, Jesus Revolution, the movie is, it just, it's gonna take you back to a time with the fashion and the love and the music and the drama. So I think audiences are gonna get a heartwarming story, a great drama, a great comedy, great characters, but also a strong message of love and hope. When people leave the theater after watching this film or after they stream it or wherever they watch it, they're gonna feel more loved and I think they're gonna be more compelled to love. I did have some conversations with the filmmakers, you know, about my my look. I actually was exchanging photos and sent a few photos of, of who I thought uh, we should try to model the look after. I looked up some journalists, some black uh, male journalists from back in the late 70s, excuse me, early 70s, late 60s, and, you know, really sent up a couple pictures. I said, okay, well, here's about five different pictures of different men at that time who were in journalism that I think our character Josiah could look like. And so they hit me back and they were, they showed, they chose two of those pictures. So it was great to be able to work with them. And then once I got uh, to the location, was able to work with the hair and makeup department to be able to create the look that I'm in now. And then was able to work with wardrobe and to get Josiah's clothes down. Remember he's from New York. So he's going to bring that kind of New York, you know, a little bit of sophistication, you know, definitely put together, but he's on a mission. He's on a mission to figure out, is this true? Are the hippies really getting saved or is this a new type of trip? The Jesus revolution uh, basically can be described as the hippies got saved. I mean, that's if you want to put it into, uh, you know, one sentence back in the late, uh, late sixties, early seventies, you know, as the end of the you know hippie movement was happening, uh, there was this movement sweeping, a revolution sweeping the country where a lot of those in the hippie culture were finding Christ. 
And so this movie really talks about and shows one aspect of how that movement began and what was going on and what was involved in the hippies, hippies finding Christ. And Time Magazine in 1971 did a cover story called The Jesus Revolution that is iconic, historic, and it documents the entire movement and from all across the country. And so the catalyst for this film really is the Time Magazine article. And this film, when you see it, it gives you the history, but then it works up to the Time Magazine article. So Josiah is from New York and he works for Time Magazine and he has covered the assassination of Bobby Kennedy. He's covered the riots in LA and he's given this assignment to go out to California and cover these you know, rumblings of hippies getting saved. And so he comes in and he's very skeptical. You know, again, he's from the East, he's coming to the West Coast. He has a fractured relationship with his own family. And he's coming here to just basically debunk the whole thing. He is not a believer. He wants to come out here and say the hippies are crazy, the whole thing's a cult, and that's what he wants the story to be. But as he gets here and he starts documenting and, and he starts seeing for himself, he starts to realize, wait, this might actually all be true. And not only does he document what happens, he himself starts to think that maybe this wasn't just for him writing the article, there was something here for him too. 